Welcome once again to the Zach Carpenter Coaches Show here on BCHSTV. TV, the Bear Network, where you can see all our shows on program. YouTube. We advise you to go there, hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll be notified anytime one of our shows are produced here in the studios H12, Mr. Wentz Roar's broadcast class. I'd like to invite uh, uh, Coach Tuck, uh, Carpenter to talk with us right now and, and tell us who you brought. I know it's Carpenter and Carpenter, but no relation. No right? relation whatsoever. Uh, got Trevor Carpenter, senior point guard for us this year. He's doing yeah. a nice job. Yeah. After about 22 points a game, I asked him earlier, why can't you do better than that? But, you know, they all don't fall, do they? I mean, you got to take your shots and everything. Trevor, you off to a good start. You're a senior this year. You've had four years there. Are you playing any other sports here at Bright at all? No, sir. Okay. Uh, what do you look to accomplish this year, uh, personally? I mean, what, what do you need to improve in? I mean, you – is he a good defender coach? I mean, is, could he be better? Does he communicate he, well out there? He could be better. He has gotten better since we've got here. Okay. Um, one thing I've really noticed about him, especially in practice, is how much more he's talking and, and trying to do things the right way, trying to be a leader. Well, communication is a key out there, especially in basketball out there on the floor. I mean, if, especially if they're on the far end of the floor from you where you're coaching, you know, in the first half of, you know, on the opposite end. So it's got to get the uh, – Connection out there somehow, some way. We do, and that's that's an area that we got to grow. Yeah. Um, I'm big on it, harp on it every day, and and we've gotten better in increments, but we still got yeah. a long way to go communication wise. Well, well, since our, our last program, our first program of the year was a, a preseason show back before the Thanksgiving break. We've had some games under belt. Uh, coming in here at two and one after three games played, mm -hmm. and the only loss was an overtime game to Knox Webb, who's looked like a pretty good team, and you know. Games like that come down to maybe a final shot or a missed free throw or something like that. And, and it's just a natural reaction. They may say, oh, that guy cost us game. He couldn't hit the free throw. Well, there's a lot of things happened before that shot ever occurred. Uh, fouls and missed shots. And, uh, and it ain't that poor guy's fault. It just happens to be he's going to no, take the that, last shot. You know? That's you nobody's hear fault. Time. That was nobody's fault. Hey, yeah. If anybody, I'll take the blame on that one. I should have called timeout, drawn something up, instead of trying to get that last play off. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was proud of the guys. I told them after the game, you know, I was proud of how hard they fought. They competed the whole time. And that's a very good team. Like you said, they're well coached. They run yeah. good stuff. They've got good players. So I, I was definitely proud of our effort for that game. Well, uh, Trevor, how is the uh, team chemistry going so far? Are you guys playing good together? Look like you're having fun and playing really hard, uh, which is an indication to me that everybody's enjoyed it. And when you're playing hard, it seems like things will flow your way, you know. We've all been teammates for about four or five years now. All went to Lake Forest and came up together, so our chemistry's pretty good. That's right. You guys know each other. You probably read each other's minds, so to speak, out there on the floor sometimes there. And, Coach, that's always a positive for you. You know, these guys are not, not coming in first year as a player and not strangers to each other. And, and like you said, played through Lake Forest and all that. Why? It definitely helps. You know, guys that have played together, they know each other's tendencies. They know how they play. And so that's mm -hmm. definitely been a big, mm -hmm. big help. Uh, what's your what's your biggest concern as a head coach at this point in the season? I know it's really really early, but what are you looking to get more out of or to, to do, or somebody else to step up? Or um, I, I think execution wise, we got to do a better job of executing, especially in the half court. Um, we still want to play faster than we are, mm -hmm. so getting guys to run the floor, run their lanes. Um, but it, it's little things that we can tweak and, and clean up in practice. But those are two areas I think we got to get better at. Well, watching a lot of games like, like I do, I can see, and it's easy to see when teams are playing too fast, you know, and, and you're just coaching on the court, but, you know, you just think, slow down, just slow down, you know, it's like we're on fire or something and we're trying to make it happen too quick, and that's just not the case, you know, a lot of times. Right. No, we we said going into this year, we want to play fast, you know, we want to heat the ball up on the defensive end and, and let our defense turn into offense, and, and if they even if they do score, we want to get it out and push the ball off the floor, and that's that's one of the areas that we got to improve at. Well, how many seniors are you carrying this year on the team? I know besides Trevor. Uh, three seniors. We got JD Kirkpatrick, Trevor, obviously, and then Macias Daniel. Okay. Yeah, and you're getting some good quality time out of all three of those guys there. Uh, what's your upcoming schedule look like? Uh, tomorrow night, we got Macaulay at home. Um, they'll be very well coached. They run good stuff. They got skilled guys. And then uh, Friday, we'll go over to the Raider Dome and play Cleveland. Open up the district. Yep. And then next week, We'll be back home for a couple of games with uh, Udwal and Howard. Howard. Howard, Udwal. Howard then Udwal, yes. Yeah, that's a Tuesday, Friday night. So, folks, I encourage you to come out and uh, check those games out. And, and if you're not able to come out for whatever reason, out of town or you got someone overseas in the service, maybe, having to uh, tune in to YouTube, watch it on BCHS TV. You can see those games. Mr. Troy's crew will be broadcasting those. Uh, who, who are you looking for? I, mean, I don't want to name individual players, but you got 22 points out of this, your senior guy here. And he's – when he is on, he is on. Mm -hmm. And Ramarian Taylor, who's just a sophomore, you know, he's 
and give him some great quad dimension. You got the big guy inside with uh, Jackson Airy, six seven, six eight, so, and Macias Daniels, and I'm leaving out a starter here. Who am I missing here? Uh, my D. Oh, D. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, D. And he had a well of a game over there at Warren County, I think, with 17, 18 points there. Yeah. And, uh, he looks like he's gotten taller, too. I mean, he's – He's gotten taller. He's gotten bigger, worked hard in the weight room. Yeah. He's worked hard on his jump shot. He, you know, he's come a long way from last year. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Are the football players – or uh, I know you've got some on the team. Are they back into basketball shape, as we say, or are you still – I wouldn't they're say they're there. all the way there, but they're still trying to get their basketball legs. But they've done a good job. They've come in, worked hard, and, and yeah. hadn't really missed a beat. Do you do like some coaches? I've told me they look at well, this well, Christmas is one third of the season, and then Christmas to the end of the season is a second third, and then you got the postseason. Do you divide it up like that? Or, I mean, are you? We take it one game at a time. One game we, at a time. We don't look ahead. We got McCauley next, and that's what we're focused on. Well, and that's the way it should be. You know, that's what you want. You want the team to be focused on that. You don't want yeah. to be talking about Cleveland this week at all right now there. Uh, well, the Bears have got uh, some experience under the belt. They've got three seniors there. they got a lot of young guys, too, though, uh, that are playing you know, sophomores with D. D's a junior, though, isn't he? He's a junior, yeah. And Macias is a senior. But, He's a senior. Uh, you've got uh, Romarian. He's a sophomore. He, yep, he's a sophomore. He's done a good job, can really score the ball. Um, Hunter Field has come off the bench and done a nice yep. job for us. He's also a sophomore. So we've got a nice mix, you know, uh, between the classes. And, you know, I, t I tell them all the time, you've got to be, be ready when your number's called because you never know when that may be. And, and the guys, when they, they got in there, they've done a good job. Well, with McCauley, do you know anything about McCauley, that game coming up next? Uh... They had the big seven foot guy. He's gone off to college, I guess, somewhere. He's gone. Um, you know, they got some young guys that are stepping up. They have a wing. He has not played. I would assume he's going to play against us tomorrow night. That uh, he hurt us last year. Gave us twenty five over there. So we're gonna we're preparing like he's going to play. Um, but they are very well coached. They run good stuff. They got very skilled guys. They can all dribble, pass, and shoot. So it'll be a tough matchup. Was he by chance a football player? Do you know? Because they just got through playing I, football. Before. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Well. It'll be fun. It'll be a tough match there. And in, in between between McCauley, Cleveland, and Howard Nudewall, you got some – and those three, last three addition games. So it's yeah. real important that you get those. And, of course, the game with Cleveland, which you don't want to talk about, I know. <laughs> it's a, it'll be a big dish game, too, for both teams there. It will. Every, the, you know. every game's a big game for us. You know, like I said earlier, we just want to look, take it one game at a time, prepare for this game, and then after this game's over with, we'll start looking towards Cleveland. Um, but, you know, we just want to go out and win every game. Yeah. Well, Trevor – what would you like to be better at? I always like to ask that question. Definitely so, defense. Especially when your coach is here. And Definitely what? defense. Defense? Yes, sir. Well, coach, you heard him. He's going to work hard in defense. So I'm going to practice. hold you to that at practice, right? <laughs> okay, good. Or, or, is, it, or is practice is grueling. Uh, I mean, I know he gets very – he's a quiet guy off the court. You know, if you see him in class or in the hallways, whatever, he's very quiet, soft-spoken. But, boy, you can fire it up <laughs> on the court out there. Is, is he that way in practice with you guys? I mean, yes. demanding and – Loud, very loud. Well, and, and that's what a, a, a good coach should be, hard, you know, force you to work hard because that's only going to make you better, you know. I've told them I'd love to just not come in and let them run practice. You know, if they would talk, I don't need to be the loudest guy in the gym. I yeah. want them to be the loudest, yeah. you know, the players to take ownership in that. And I've said the best teams are player-led teams. Yeah. But until we get to that point, I'll, I'll be more than happy to pull the bus. Oh, man. So it's going to be fun. It's you got your challenge ahead of you, though, but it's all about earning it. It is. Yeah, I can, can do that, I know. We're going to wrap it up for now here on the Zach Carpenter Show, brought to you each week here on bchs.tv. Until next time, we'll say so long now. Thanks again first to uh, Mr. Shroy and his class here that produced these shows for us. Until next time, we'll say so long for now. God bless and go Bears.